Let's learn how we can use Google AI Studio as fast as possible. Because as you can see in the top right, there's been a huge update, y'all. Hashtag vibe coding. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, I want to go over just the fundamentals of Google AI Studio, what it even is, why it even exists, why it kind of feels like a separate thing. Like, Corbin, why isn't this just Gemini? As Google's AI Studio, originally its intention was more developer-centric, what you're noticing is that it's becoming more of a platform that anyone can really use, access, and get really cool things out of. So let's go over the fundamentals. So right off the bat, if we look in our top left, we have two main tabs. We have the chat tab and we have the build tab. This is what I'm going to focus in today's video. When it comes to dashboard and documentation, this is a little bit more on the side of, hey, I just got an API key. I'm going to integrate it into my software and charge it. For now, there's a ton of stuff we can do within the chat and the build. So right now in chat, I want you to think of this as honestly an upgraded version of Gemini. Maybe upgrade is not the best way to say this, but more of like a beta version where they give new features here that are super cool. The original attention for the chat feature here is for a developer to test around different abilities such as Nano Banana. That's like their AI image generation model like Dali. New models that are super cool such as Gemini Flash Latest, trying out VO2 for example. But the idea here, this is a playground. This is a sandbox. So because it's a playground, we can use different things like the Nano Banana. Design an image of a dog holding a phone and taking a selfie. You also have the ability to actually attach files as well. If you want to do videos, and images, and edit that way. And I can hit run. And due to the fact that this is a little bit more developer leaning, if you come over here to your top right, you'll notice we have additional settings we can adjust. Also, amazing dog. Look at the dog taking the selfie. When it comes to stuff like this, this is what you need to understand. First off, it's going to show you what feature it's essentially using. Now, we know Nano Banana is their AI image generation feature. So that's why we see this dog and it up here. We can, in addition, add system instructions here, which ensures consistency on outputs. This is not too fundamental. This is more programming heavy if we were to add this in code. Temperature might be very interesting to you. A lower temperature, if I go down to 0.1. It's going to be less creative. And what does that mean? Temperature and creativity in AI essentially means that they've done a ton of tests and they've collected a ton of data. The lower the temperature is, 0.1 shows that doing these tests with humans, this was deemed to be the most reliable answer. This seemed to have the best type of response. But a higher temperature, like 1 or 0.9, tells the AI model, yeah, we got data here, but don't care about the data. Do what you want. Be more creative open-ended. Personally, what I like doing is I like having the temperature pretty high because you get really cool outputs here. The use case to have a lower temperature is purely aligned with the idea that you need consistent outputs at scale. Finally, aspect ratio, the ratio in which the image comes out, one by one, nine by 16, TikTok, 16 by nine, YouTube. And that fundamentally goes over the things you need to care about in the chat feature. But what about that builder feature? This is an entire ecosystem they just created within the last couple of days. It's build. And you've probably been seeing a ton on your feed. And if you haven't, then you're about to see a ton on your feed. Google just released a AI app builder that's probably one of the best I've seen on the market in a long time. What this allows us to do is use regular English and attach one of Google's APIs or features into your application. So for example, here, I could try create conversational voice app, and then I could simply do this, create a Siri copy and just let me talk to it and ask questions. We are able to choose the model here. What you'll probably do is simply choose the higher model. Right now it's Gemini 2.5 Pro, but by the time you're watching this video, it might be three as it's coming up pretty soon. When it comes to tech stack, you don't have to worry too much about this. Usually opt for React TypeScript and hit build. And this begins a process that quite literally can get you very functional apps very fast. So much so that I'm gonna leave a playlist in the description down below that goes over how to build out a real app step-by-step -step using Google AI Studio, completely vibe coded. This series is no joke, y'all. There's gonna be a multi-episode series where I go over the tech stack, app UI, app value. I explain all this very dumbed down. Sign up, database, functions, storage, get paid, live app. Sounds like the beginning of a song, but the idea is step-by-step, episode-by-episode, Make sure to check out this playlist if you're interested to learn in depth about this builder. Once this is done though, what's essentially going to happen is we're going to get a nice little preview here. We can look at the code. If we're like, I don't like the code, just go back to preview and we can test if this works. Hey, how you doing, Gemini? Hey there. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? That's cool. And look how fast I was able to do that with just a simple prompt. In reality, to code that out and program that out, that would have taken a lot of input. If you're familiar with OpenAI's real-time API, it's very complex work, but it's done with a simple prompt. That's the idea behind build ideas of Gemini. Also within the build section here, we have gallery, which might interest you. I've done a whole separate video on this, but gallery is think of it like an open source app store. When I say open source, it basically means that we can access all the code relevant to an app. So for example, if I click this app right here and I like the app, I can literally just take all the code 
and use it how I want. To be more clear, when I say open source, think about it this way. If you go to your app store and you try to get the code for Snapchat, you can't because <laughs> they're not going to let you touch that code. But in this app store here, we have access to all the code. So super cool. You're able to take different ideas and different features within an app and essentially build your own app with it. Now I go in more in depth about the limitations of this app builder, but let me just fire off a couple things. First thing, when it comes to security variables, like when you provide a third party API, another service like MailChimp API or a newsletter API, like any of this kind of stuff, it functionally has an issue dealing with that. Second thing, if you try to integrate a real backend like Firebase, it has an issue again with that. So if none of this makes sense to you right now, don't worry, just check out that series. But the idea is what I really like about this app builder at this point in the flow is it's really good at creating the value of an app and excelling at that when it comes to Google's entire ecosystem. So therefore, I would really encourage you to check this out. And if you have an idea that specifically could work within Google's ecosystem, and when I say Google's ecosystem, I'm referring to YouTube, Gmail, Docs, like everything they own, you can really build something cool here. All right, last couple of things before we go. First thing, make sure to check me out on X. I do daily posts here. We go over a bunch of cool stuff. Also, I do those little fancy like short films. <laughs> Check me out X, description down below. And next major thing here is that I try my best to answer all the comments in the YouTube comment section and X, but sometimes I just can't, or the question is super in depth. Check out the school community. It should be the second link in the description. Completely free to join. Ask your in-depth questions here. I'll try to answer it. And also other people in the community will help you out as well. But that just about does today's video. So make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. And as you already know, with these style of videos, I'll see you in the next. Did Google AI Studio just create a bigger trend when it comes to vibe coding where basically anyone in the world can develop now type of video. Also, amazing dog. Look at the dog taking the selfie.